telematics is the blending of computers and wireless communication technologies in order to transfer information over large networks to improve business functions or customer service. The terms evolved to refer to automobile systems that combine global positioning satellite tracking and other wireless communications for automatic roadside assistance and remote diagnostics. General Motors, of course, was the first popularized automotive telematics with the OnStar system. Major automakers are equipping new vehicles with wireless-based services controlled by voice commands. This kind of telematics enables motors to form a variety of wireless functions, such as accessing the Internet, sending or receiving email, downloading digital audio and video files, or obtaining smart transportation information. Voice command can provide directions, roadside assistance, and the scariest thing of all, of course, to me, is internet access and email as they're driving down the road. This is a, an emerging market. It combines wireless audio and visual data to provide location-specific security and productivity and in-vehicle entertainment. It can basically be divided into two groups, now, related to operating, locating, or maintaining the vehicle. Also, enabling the second group would be enabling the use of home and office type applications. Basic principles of telematics is the two-way communication capability, which is cellular-based. Keep in mind that it's going to have all the limita limitations of cell phones. Location technology done by GPS. And it provides a computing platform for several control interface to automotive electronic systems. The purpose of telematics, as far as the manufacturers that install it, are vehicle relationship management, or VRM. Now, this is done through remote diagnostics, and the idea being that they will try to drive the vehicle back to the dealership for service and repair. Even more importantly to the, to the manufacturers is customer relationship management, CRM, which is uh, in itself a huge industry in our country for using the computer to basically continuously market customer base to make sure that they stay connected with the manufacturer and continue to buy their, their, their products and services. It's all about keeping customers. Keep in mind though that some people react to marketing in a positive way and some people disdain the idea of marketing entering their personal space and it's those people that are typically going to be the customer of an independent automotive repair shop. Just to kind of give you an idea of the monthly OnStar use, this is just came, this is, was from, from uh, June 2007. They reported 400 uh, stolen vehicle locations, 1,000 airbags, and you can go down the list here. I find most amazing is 14 million OnStar calls, uh, which means that people are using that cell phone system more than anything else. But there have been 47,000 remote vehicle diagnostics performed. Now Ford, not to be outdone by OnStar, is going to end up with a million SYNC equipped vehicles in 2009. Up to now, SYNC has been all about connecting the cell phone and the uh, entertainment device to the vehicle and synchronizing the, the content that, that the vehicle owner may want to take with him as far as music and so forth. There is a new development in which the SYNC system is capable of dialing 911 in the event of an airbag deployment and it's also capable of providing a vehicle health report. Now this is done at the driver's behest. Noted here is Ford SYNC website and if you're a registered SYNC owner you're able to click down there on the bottom right and obtain an upgrade to your sync system which will implement the 911 and vehicle health report into the older sync vehicles uh, bef before 2009 it didn't include it so the bottom line question for all independent repair shops is is it a threat well first of all OnStar has been out for a long time if it was really going to be a threat it would have already done its work and people wouldn't be fixing GM cars in their repair shops the reasons your customers prefer your service whatever they may be are the reasons you'll be able to keep their business now, whatever it's personal attention whether it's a loaner car a ride home a clean waiting room just polite service I mean whatever it is you provide something that's very important to the customer that comes to you all the reasons that you have customers now are the reasons why you will be able to retain customers even with this technology the technology actually presents more service opportunities if you maintain a relationship with your customer. So let the vehicle diagnostic report tell the customer they need service and remind them that all they need to do is punch their cell phone and make an appointment and you'll be more than happy to take care of their service needs.